This is Boston University basketball on ESPN Plus. Today, from the roof at the Case Center in Boston, it's the Terriers hosting the Binghamton University Bearcats. Come back with seven unanswered to retake the lead. Bullet pass from McCoy to Pasco. Nice ball fake, and he converts on the baseline drive. Well, Javante again thought about it. Now finds Chemezi underneath, and the block from behind by Akuobu. That was defensive tough... recovery by Chemezi on the bounce pass. He's able to keep the play going. And the Terriers still have 20 on the shot clock, so it's a complete reset. And Javante takes it to the rim. Well, that's not exactly Four, right. But most of his points came against Division III Hartwick at the event center. McCoy with the silky move. I... Alice steals the rebound. Uh, good hustle by the Terriers. C.J. Jones and... Oh, how about that? First points of the career of Kalen Jones. And the bench is up in applauding as he got the kick out pass. Nine a game for the Bearcats. Shot clock down to eight. Jonas Harper wide open for the three and he probably feels real good. Terriers, so four of the five starters with Javante McCoy getting a breather. Miles with the crossover and Miles Brewster on the board with three on the shot clock. Looking for a shot, came off the elbow and then now a steal by Morales again. Boy, he's got great hands and he goes all the way in, throws it in and he gets fouled. Dan Petcash tried to defend but Morales invents the shot. Largest lead of the day and trying to add more to it. The back cut is read beautifully by the Terrier defense. They were looking for Petcash. Instead, it's a turnover and a Javante three in transition. And the basket. Helmersen with five to go in the half. He'll settle for the deep three and drill it. And Souk Matone. They're dialing up the defense right here in the second half. Underneath, Petcash gets blocked by Matone. To do it. Well, the Terriers have done all this on one for five from the field. This is not like they've been shooting out, out of this world as Harper with a nice reverse layup, but, you know. McCoy on the big man. Tries for the turnaround with one on the shot clock, and now BU has its largest lead of the day. Gonna catch breaks because you're playing hard defensively. Javante McCoy with the triple. It's a nine-point BU lead, and Lavelle Sanders can't wait any longer. Yep. Underneath, the tough catch by Soup. The double came, he goes to McCoy for the triple! 1,500 career points for Javante McCoy. That's too easy inside out. Eaton Hall. It's always, you, you love the idea of it's a family business. Bertram for wow. three to make it a two point game. Uh, Bertram goes around Matone, gets the roll, and he'll go to the line. What's in Jonas's head, that those threes as well. He is kind of still talking to himself right now. Helmersen for a tie game with 1.42 to go. 20 left to go in regulation. McCoy on the drive, it's blocked, but he gets it back to Souk with some room, and he finds the bucket that he's been looking for all day long. What a time for Souk to get his first basket of the day. Not even further than that. You gotta figure B will try and at least get a trip to the free throw line here if nothing else. McCoy will start the motion. The turnaround is good! Stopping Ankle on a dime! Oh boy. And a Binghamton player hurt. So long from Boston. The final score once again, BU 68, Binghamton 63. It's the Terriers' best start in 17 years as they improve to 7-3 overall with a 68-63 win over Binghamton. Javante McCoy with a season-high 27 points to lead the Terriers. Javante is part of that you're also the ninth Terrier to reach 1,500 career points. It just so happened it was on a pass from your buddy, Souk Matone. Yes, sir. Now, I, I got to credit a lot to my teammates and my coaches. They just telling me to stay aggressive, and my teammates did a great job of uh, help by getting me looks, and I just credit them a lot. So You know, there's been a lot of smiles this season with seven wins, but every game seems to have a similar theme. It's not easy. What did Binghamton do to continue to go within one possession down the stretch? They just play hard. You know, we're two teams that play hard, so it's never going to be easy. Uh, they got a lot of dog fight in them. And, you know, we, we've been down this road a lot, so we got a lot of experience, got a lot of, a lot of old guys, so we just got it done today. So, Javante, appreciate your time. Congratulations on the win. We'll, we'll bring in assistant coach Walt Corbin now as the Terriers, well, you know, a part of a similar script also is I know Joe Jones was not happy with the defense in the first half. 
Well, how can you be? <laughs> I think you know you can add a lot of coaches on that uh, on that list that weren't happy. But you know, to their credit, they they, they do a great job of executing. They play extremely hard with a hot, you know, a fast pace, and it, it gave us some problems in the first half. This team, this Binghamton team, was a little different than other teams you've played. More of this team not necessarily using its athleticism to beat you, but their discipline. How much of an adjustment do you think it was for your players? Well, you know, we had to go back to doing what we do, you know, and uh, Coach talked to him about at halftime just about, you know, we don't need to do anything like spectacular. We just have to be who we are. We have to come out and play like we're capable of playing. And, and that's what we did. We wanted to take the pressure off the guys and, you know, not, not have them come out and make, a, you know, crazy adjustments, but just do what you do. You've watched this. You've watched Suk Matone and Javante McCoy play for five years now. During winning time, they not only want the ball in their hands, but they've been executing at a very high level the past three weeks. They have, and, and you know, Suk's done a phenomenal job. I think he was maybe 14 and of uh, 16 from the free throw line. So, you know, he stepped up big and made some big free throws. Although the uh, the air conditioner was turned on that one <laughs> free throw, so it kind of came up a little bit short. But you know, he did a great job at the line. You say the air conditioner. I think there was some wind. There was a wind tunnel around here as well. There Coach, we appreciate it. We'll see you Wednesday. Thank you. That's assistant coach Walt Corbin as the Terriers win it 68-63. Javante McCoy becomes the ninth Terrier with 1,500 career points. And Suk Matone gets his 500th career rebound. A career day here at BU as the Terriers win it and improve to 7-3.